Hey guys, back part six of Blackwell Convergence. And um, last we left off, uh, Rosa went to bed and woke up in the Minetta. So let's look around and see what's going on. So, um, I have some creepy ass voices. Let's get out of here. Oh, I can't leave. Ugh. Poor deluded man, enthralled to a madness that even he could not explain. Look, you. Oh. Shit. A madness called the Countess. I. I know you. We have spoken before, but it is not important. But hush, aren't you tired? You need to rest. Tired? Shh, just sleep. That's it, sleep. Tomorrow you will wake up energized and refreshed. You will not remember me, but don't worry. We will meet very shortly. Who is this lady? I think she was the Countess's medium. Probably. Maybe the Countess... Good morning. Oh, You're crazy. perky today. Sleep well? Yeah, I did. I've been thinking. Too much has happened for this to be mere coincidence. Yeah. What do you mean? In the gallery, there was a painting. A painting of her. Really? I knew it looked familiar, but I didn't recognize it until now. Um, I what called it. What did it look like? Why don't we head over and you can take a look for yourself. I believe that is what I said from episode one. Let's talk, Joey. First, let me tell you something. What could it possibly be? Okay. Um... I know he's dead and all, but this is kind of cool. I've never met anyone famous no, no, before. No, choked. Just don't ask him for an autograph. No, no. What does Joe Gould have to do with Frank Lyons? Joe Gould died almost 30 years ago. So what? I died over 70 years ago. Death isn't as final as it used to be. Remember yeah, that. Sure. I'm reminded every day. <laughs> the Minetta was kind of quaint. Haven't you had enough to drink lately? Be quiet. Uh... I know he's dead and I've never- Just don't- Okay, fuck it. Let's go. That's all for now. Sure. I'm ready if you are. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. I like my lava lamp. That's cool. Let's go. There's the gallery. There. It's her. I knew it. Now I look at that and it. tell me this isn't a coincidence. Stupid old hag. We'll find you. Just see if we don't. Dang. He's got an axe to grind with her. I'd better not touch it. Josie would get mad. Definitely looks like the woman from the other night, but she looks sad. Mm. Let's see if we can ask Josie about this thing. Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but okay. Really? Because you're just standing there. I'd like to know more about that painting there. Oh, the dark lady. It's different than his other paintings. I'm worried the investors won't like it, but Claude insists. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? Um, mm. What can you tell me about the Dark Lady? Well, it's different, isn't it? Claude's work is mostly abstract, but this is actually of a specific subject. Yeah. Did Claude ever say why? No, but she's definitely striking. She strikes all right. I still got the scars. <laughs> Claude gets weird when I ask who she is or why he put her in front of the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. Roosevelt I Island figure Lighthouse. it's just one of those eccentric artist things. The Roosevelt Island Lighthouse, huh? It's been a while since I've been over there. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's where we need to go. Uh, where is Claude? Where can I find Claude? Knowing him, he's probably preparing for tonight. Preparing? You know, glug glug. He's hitting the sauce. Click, click, click. Uh, you mentioned something about investors. Oh, yes. The Meltzer Foundation. They paid for everything. The renovation, Sweet. the lights, everything. I've got to pay them back eventually, of course. But still. But still. 
Meltzer Foundation. That's another place we get to go. Um... Have you ever heard of a place called the Mineta? No, sorry. How well do you know Monique Stallman? She's a nice lady, although I don't think she'll be back. She didn't seem to really appreciate Claude's work. I'm sorry. No worries. It's not everybody's cup of tea. All right, let's blow those pops then. See you Thanks, later. Thanks, Josie. I'd better get going. Sure, Rosangela. I'll see you at the opening tonight. Angela, don't call me that. What do you have to say about it, Joey? That sad face doesn't fool me for one minute. Yeah, she's kind of leaking crazy from her If ears. I could punch a hole through that face, I would. Damn, he's like super pissed off. Alright. Let's go. Let's, yeah. Let's go. Um, Roosevelt Island. Here we are. I don't see. I don't see any ghosts. Can you sense anything? Nope. Seems clean to me. Really? You sure? I said there's nothing here. Maybe well, we no need to come back anyway. at night. I read a book about this place years ago. Nobody uses this lighthouse anymore. It's just a historic monument. I read a book about nobody. It's a lighthouse. Don't know who it's for. It's not like any ships come through here. Get in it's there. It's a lighthouse. Don't know who. It's a lighthouse. Get in. Don't know who it's for. It's not like any ships come through here. Uh, has it just been raining like forever? I read a book of no. I read a book nobody. I read a book nobody. I read a nobody. Okay, let's go. Um, back to the well. Rolls this door. again? Oh, do you have any more email? Nope. Okay, wait, hold on. How do we spell it again? No, it's Meltzer Foundation. Okay. I have the caps on. Oops. Alright, we found it. Meltzer Foundation. You can find anything online these days. Are located in the Financial District, 24 Fulton Street, Suite 1401, New York, New York. Okay, close. New York! Sorry. I had to. Let's go. You ready to go? Hold your horses, will you? I'm coming. Technically, I could still close the door and keep on going because we can just go through it, but you know, whatever. Uh, oh, here it is. Helpser Foundation. Do, 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 do. Yes. Hi. Is this the Meltzer Foundation? Yes. Oh, good. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Paul, this one's for you. Hmm? Oh, sure thing. Come on oh. over and step into my office. He swears. So, I'm Paul Meltzer, and my silent partner over there is my brother, Charlie. He seems Rosangela like Blackwell. A bucket of A pleasure. Bro. So, what can we do for you? Bucket full of sunshine. I was sunshine. hoping to talk to you about what you do here. Blah, 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 blah. Really? Ooh. Well, well, well. We're moving up in the world, Charlie. Uh-huh. So, Rosangela, you with a newspaper? I'm sort of freelance. Struggling, eh? Well, that's what the Melter Foundation is all about. <laughs> Isn't that right, Charlie? Uh-huh. Well, ask away. I think, um, Rosangela has, like, the best tact for this, and I think it was because she's a writer for the newspaper, or she was. I was wondering what you do here. You know, I wonder that myself. Hey, Charlie, what do we do here? <laughs> we give away money, Paul. That's right. We're into private investments. We grant risk-free capital to struggling businesses. Ooh. You really just give away money? Ha! 
No, not exactly. <laughs> it's about giving money away wisely. I have this router. You heard you the man. It? Back here? If you want the lowdown on what we do, just ask. I did. Okay, let's ask about the park gallery. Josie Park told me that you invested in her gallery. You know Josie. How is she doing? She's fine, I guess. Yeah. We're both rooting for her. Right, Charlie? Sure. <laughs> I like Charlie. He's really upfront. Let's see. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Mm, no, sorry. Okay. Um... Do you know anything about Frank Lyons, the actor? Of course. Can you believe it? A heart attack at his age. He looked healthy. Of course, who knows what kind of drugs those actors take. Um, I believe crystal meth. Yeah. Tell me more about the foundation. Yeah. Let's say you have a brilliant idea for a business, but you've made some mistakes in the past. Uh-huh. You've got bad credit or were in debt for a long time. Mm -hmm. No reputable bank in the country would give you a loan. Mm -hmm. Or if they did, yeah. they'd charge you a fortune in interest. Uh -huh. But not yeah. us. We believe in a second chance. Hmm. We'll loan you the money to kickstart your business in return for a share of the profits. If hmm. your business takes off, wonderful, we both win. If not, we're the one who pays for it. Hmm. I don't know. So, let's see. Are you familiar with Monique Stallman or Cube Star Films? Why do you ask? No reason. I was wondering if you gave them a kickstart. All right, let's well, go. Well, thanks for talking to me. I might be back later. Sure thing. Here, take my card. If you have any questions, just email. Oh, so you're on B-mail, too. <laughs> Is it everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Charlie. Jackass. God, did you see that chick walk? She waddles like a duck. <gasps> huh? Our reporter friend. She's kind of your type. What do you mean? Yeesh, Charlie, come up for air. She walked right past your desk. I didn't see any duck. She waddled. Never mind. Stay in ease, Stay put, kid. I'm going to snoop around. What a jerk. Hmm. He's so in... Must be losing my touch. Hey. What's wrong with the one we've got? Oh, come on. B-mail? Who is going to take us seriously when we only got a B-mail account? Gmail is very professional. At least we have a real internet connection. Although, I don't trust this wireless crap. What the crap? He's reading a book called Best Accountant Practices, 4th Edition. Sounds thrilling. Hey, Charlie, is this wireless internet thing safe? Of course it's safe. I just read online that they can give you cancer. It won't give you cancer, Paul. This guy's making then me maybe face, you Tom. should sit next to it. Give it a rest, Paul. It's actually not safe if it's not locked, because then anybody can use I your I can't Wi -Fi. stand this B-mail account. What's the problem now? I'm getting all sorts of spam. I got three from this Tomo person. Who the heck is Tomo? Just delete them, Paul. Tomo? He seems pretty hard at work. Hey, Charlie, did you turn on the AC? No, not me. Doesn't it bother you that anybody with Vmail software can log into our email? What Only the if they have your password, Paul. <gasps> Just what? don't tell anybody and you'll be fine. Tell the password. What the heck is that thing? Probably one of those computer things Red's always playing with. Hey, when are we going to get a real company email address? Oh my god, this fucking email. What's wrong guys? with the one we've got? Oh, come on. Bmail? Who is going to take us seriously when we only got a Bmail account? God forbid. It does the job. <sighs> At least we have a real internet connection. Although, I don't trust this wireless crap. They say it gives you cancer. Boy, if I could touch it, that would sh- Of course it's safe. I just read online that they- It won't give you cancer, Paul. Then maybe you- Give it a rest, Paul. Seriously? These things are way beyond me. <sighs> I can't stand this B-mail account. What's the I don't give a shit about your B mail! Can't do anything with. Hey, Charlie, did you turn on the AC? No, not me. Doesn't it bother you that anybody with B mail software can log into our email? Only if they have your password, Paul. Just don't tell anybody, and you'll be fine. He seems pretty hard at work. Tell me your password, Paul. These things. Ugh.
What's wrong with the one? Okay. It does the. Is that battery parked down there? Man, it's changed a ton since my day. Hey, Charlie, is this wireless internet thing safe? I swear to of God. Of course it's. I, they, give it a. Ugh, I'm done. These things. Are, I can't stand. What's the problem now? I'm getting all sorts. Just a. Who's Tomo? He's reading a book called. Sa only if they just don't. Ugh, I'm done. Uh, just, uh, so that's all for this, and, uh, I'll talk to you next time. I gotta go quick, bye.